As a private investigator, you take the cases you can get. It usually means long nights following scumbags to sleazy motels and taking photos too distasteful even for TMZ. Sometimes the scumbag runs. You have to chase him into the sewer where your socks get wetter than a deli sandwich that soaked up all the leaky pickle juice. Guess that's how I found myself on this crappy case. Standing in crap-filled water. Facing down a piece of crap criminal for a paycheck. It wouldn't be worth crap to a crap. If you think that sounds like too much crap, imagine how I feel. I didn't kill my wife! I don't care! Then why are you doing this to me? Because that's what I do. I bring down bad guys. In this case, that's you. Besides, I know your wife isn't dead. She hired me to find out if you... Uh, if you sold her parrot. Which you did, because you're a pile of crap. Which is why we're down here. I have photos. You don't understand. That bird drove me crazy with its constant squawking. I, I didn't hurt the thing. I just found it a new home. Oh, well, now you're going to find a new home in the big house. Or pay a small fine and be on your way. Wait, so the murder investigation I was hearing about on the police scanner wasn't about me? Ooh, is that an OTR 160 band police scanner? Oh man, if I had one of those, I could get a leg up on the real crimes before they all get picked over. No more dumb, lame gigs involving fake crabs or goat statues or bird nappers. You could solve me a bona fide murder case. Hand it over or I'll... Oh! Ah! Oh crap, that was an accident. Tell you what, uh, help me find that radio you just dropped and maybe we can work something out. Okay, yeah. Well, nothing but gross water. Are you even helping? I'm looking, I'm looking. No, that feels like a rubber eel. Oh god, I really hope that's a rubber eel. Nada. Ooh, a quarter. That's an artificial crab. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Okay, that's alive. Whatever that was. Keep searching, scumbag. Uh, nope, that's something mushy and disgusting. Fair, and the sewer pipe is pretty on brand. <sighs> Nothing here either. I found it. Great, give it here. Okay, but you said we've been trade, right? Radio for photos. Sure, that's what I said, all right. Okay, here you go. Now, the photos? Okay, a deal's a deal. Just let me get them for you. I've just got to click on my inventory. Looks like it's your lucky day. Or maybe I just don't like bird pics. Either way, take your photos. Get out of here. Wait, no, no, no! Scarlet River. There's been a murder. Sweet! 
this is going to be so good. <clears throat> I mean, just another night in this gin-soaked town, and murder is the chaser. Crime. When you're a private investigator, it toils away at you like a grain of sand in your eye. You can't see it, but you know it's there. And the more you scratch at it, the worse it gets. But you have to keep scratching until you get it out or you go blind trying. In this case, was about to throw a fistful of sand right in my face. Sorry, sir. This is a crime scene. Please step away. It's okay. I have a, a police scanner. Also, I'm a private eye. Or a public M. Depending on how much my backstory you're familiar with. Name's Nick Bounty. I have a few questions for you. Looks like you got a hell of a mess in your hands. What happened here? Dead body. Some kids were playing in the sandbox when they discovered her. Naked? No, they were all fully dressed. But the clothes on the victim had been torn off. The victim? Who was she? Don't know yet. We didn't find any ID on her. Once we get her down to the morgue, we can run her prints and see if she's in the system. Who's the unsub? The what? The unknown subject? Isn't that how you say it? Oh, that's stupid. We just say suspect like everyone else. Ah, got it. Who's the suspect, then? Don't have one yet. The boys down the station think this is probably a suicide. Suicide? Really? Yep, and they're pretty much wrapped up here. And you're welcome to take a look around. Just don't touch the body. Why not? Because that's like gross. It's all cold and icky. Ugh. Just wait until we can bring it to the morgue for proper processing. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to have a look around. That's some set of sticks for a dead dame. Sticks? Gams. What are gams? Stems. Like plant stems? Pins, drumsticks, pillars, stilts, uprights, getaway sticks. I don't... Forget it, kid. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, she's got nice legs, though. sand over here is wet. Yeah, we noticed that too. Smells like... <laughs> oh, piss. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's the same reason I avoid public pools. Kids tend to use them as their own personal toilets. I'm never going in a sandbox again. Uh, unless it's uh, on a case or, or a date. I'm going to avoid them in general, though. Hello, little spider. Spider? I hate spiders! Phew! That was close. A little extreme, but... Okay.
still doing here? That's the question, isn't it? What are any of us doing here? No, I mean, here at the playground. Oh, I've got to stay and protect the body until the medical examiner comes to pick it up. What's the deal with you and spiders? Little eight-legged dudes aren't that scary. It's not the legs that creep me out. It's the eight eyes. Why do they need so many eyes? What the hell are they looking at? That's all for now. I'm gonna go look for more evidence. at my elementary school. I got caught playing murder on the Orient Express with Libby Wilson. We both got a week's detention. Totally worth it. These used to be a great place to catch some shut-eye until the internet made those free blankets obsolete. Fancy dog collar. This thing must have cost a pretty penny. Where's the pretty dog? We didn't find a dog. Uh, maybe there is no dog. This thing looks brand new. Maybe it was a gift? It's like they say. Never look a gift dog in the mouth. No one says that. Hmm, there's an inscription on it. Congratulations on your promotion. It's an odd thing to congratulate someone with. Nick Bounty, the city's most prolific dog walker. <laughs> I'm not a dog walker, I'm a detective. Didn't you see my radio? Detective, huh? Sounds dangerous. What's that around your neck? Did you lose a fight with a trout? It's a fish tie. It's professional. Prove to me it's not. Look, there's a murder to solve here. Are you gonna help me or not? Uh, no. We're just here to make sure the crowds don't get out of control. The non existent crowd. Well then, keep up the non-existent work. The trash can in the playground. The typical bully's endgame. No crying children or other useful evidence in there at the moment. A woman's shoe. Aqua-colored. No! Periwinkle. Got a scuffed heel. Might have belonged to the victim. It appears to have bite marks on it? Like it's been chewed. I may have to question the children to see if any of those knee biters were biting below the knee today.
city is just like riding on one of these. You climb on, hoping for a little action, and before you know it, you're puking your guts out in a spiral while a bunch of other poor saps just stand there watching, waiting for their turn. Oh, there's something up there, just out of reach. Could be evidence. Looks like a purse. Might be related to the crime. Maybe I should tell someone about it. got unusually long arms. Will you uh, help me get a thing out of a tree? It might be evidence. No, sir. I've got to stay right here and make sure no one messes with the dead body. Sorry. Hey, I think I saw a spider in that tree over there. nice purse. Goes nicely with my hat. No, it's evidence. Yeah, it's empty anyway. Seen enough? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is no suicide. Huh. You say so. I just need to get back to my office so I can analyze the evidence. Anything else you can tell me? Well, I, uh, I can tell you that I enjoy long walks on the beach and candlelit jello baths. About the crime scene? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, no. How would that even work anyway? Do you mix the jello in the tub and then just wait for it to gel around you? Or, or, or do you make it first and then get in? God, please do not answer any of these questions. I want to further examine the dead body. Go ahead and send it back to the morgue. I'll meet with the coroner there. We go way back. Right. Who are you again? I'm a detective. Once you've seen enough crime scenes, you'd think they'd get easier to stomach. But it's just the opposite. Each one adds a layer of grime until you can feel the grit on your teeth. This time it was the literal grit of pea-soaked playground sand, and there wasn't a toothbrush in sight. From there, I could either head back to my office to analyze the evidence, or visit the morgue and inspect the dead body. I decided to head over to stiff storage before returning to my office. Best to see what other evidence there was to discover while the body was still fresh. Mmm, mmm, fresh. How's tricks? And tricks are for kids, you know that. And around here it's Dr. Stuffins, got it? Whatever you say, Mac. Well, they told me you were hanging around the crime scene. What kind of case have you scraped up from the bottom of the barrel this time? I'm investigating a murder. When I asked where I could find the stiff ones, they sent me to your mom's house first. Charming as ever. What do you want here, Nick? 
I want to take a look at the body from the playground. See if I can find any more clues. I'd love to help, but see those cops outside? They don't like PIs around their unsolved cases, and that means trouble for you. Well, I can answer any questions you have, but I can't let you near the body unless you get rid of the officers. Fair enough, I'll deal with the cops later. But first, I need to ask you a few morgue questions. Oh no, Nick, no puns this time, please. You know how much I hate puns. Ah, where's the pun in that, Mac? So what was the COD? Maybe our playground pal here choked on a sandwich? Was that a pun? No, of course not. Better not have been. Anyway, the victim appears to have been dead before she was buried. No evidence of a struggle. My guess is she was suffocated in her sleep. The body must have been moved to the playground after the fact. Was there any bruising on the body? Signs of abuse? Now, whoever did this must have caught her off guard. Wasn't a fencer then, they catch you on guard. I said no puns. That wasn't a pun, it was a metaphor. You mean those people who fight bulls? Ah, oh, yeah, sure. Can you tell how long she's been dead? Hmm. Based on the liver temperature and state of rigor, I'd estimate the time of death to be around 11 p.m. last night. 11's a little past my dead time. I guess we can assume whoever killed her was not a morning person. Okay, that was definitely a pun. No, never. Puns are against the rules. Hmm. <laughs> Did you find any additional evidence on the body? You know I'm not allowed to tell you that. Not with those cops nearby. But if they were otherwise preoccupied, there's a good chance I could look the other way while you check over the body yourself. Well, I'm pretty sure I can find some way to keep him dead distracted. All right, this is your last warning. No puns. Okay, Mac, relax. I'm done. Good. I need to finish the autopsy. Yeah, I hear it's a dying practice. Damn it, Nick, cut it out. You know these things don't translate well to other languages. Okay, that's all I got for now. Good. Any more of your nonsense, and I thought my head gonna pun explode. Mac, that's why you leave the puns to the professionals. Listen, Mac, you sit tight, make sure no one disturbs the body before I can look it over. I got some cops to distract. So this is where you keep the bodies on ice? Yes, and occasionally my lunch. The tricky bit is not getting the two confused. Syringes, old rubber gloves, bloody gauze. Medical waste is gross. Oh no, these are just some souvenirs I picked up on my trip to New Jersey. Still doing the murmuring thing? Yep, recording background chatter can get expensive. I suppose I'll go along with it then. Hey there, Bogey and Bacall. I'm Earl. <sighs> Who's Bogey? Shouldn't you two be out issuing traffic tickets somewhere? Shouldn't you be out rescuing a lizard somewhere? We're not letting you touch that body, Nick. Come on, how about a little professional courtesy here? Listen. We're gonna stand here and do our jobs for as long as that takes, even if we starve to death doing it. Which might happen if I don't get a candy bar or something soon. I know, Earl. I'm hungry too. But the job comes first. Come on, Sarah. You don't have any crackers or anything? Well, if I did, I'd be eating them right now. Uh, this conversation doesn't include you. Shove off. Sarah, you don't have any crackers or anything? Well, if I did, I'd be eating them right now. Uh, this conversation doesn't include you. Shove off. Ooh, a police baton. I've always wanted one of these. Doc likes to keep his credentials where everyone can see. And one of these is a health code warning. 
Reminder that food is not permissible anywhere on the premises. Mmm, donuts. Hey, can you guys break a 20? I don't have any change. Do you even have a 20? Ah, uh, I'll get back to you. Same brand as the ones back in my office. One day they'll be filled with the back catalog of my solved murder cases. But for now, it's just where I keep my fish ties. Come on, Sarah. You don't have any crackers, anything? Well, if I did, I'd be eating them right now. Uh, this conversation doesn't include you. Shove off. Steve, uh, what's going on with my usual parking space? The meter's busted. Well, that figures. You going to work now, Mr. B? That's right, Street Steve. If you see anyone looking to have a crime solved, you send them upstairs, above the butter shop. You got it. And you know what my finder's fee is. <laughs> yeah, I know. Some of the hair of the bee that bit you. Huh? No, whiskey will be fine. I, I know, Street Steve. My office. It was the same beat-up old studio that I've been holed up in forever. A single desk cluttered with past due bills. A bookshelf stacked with unread literature. A coat rack. Where one day my hat'll hang for good. But not today. Today there was work to do. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Holy crap! It's here! My mail order crime lab is here! Between this and the police scanner, I'm really coming up in the world. I can put tiny objects or fluids in and get a bunch of information in return. Kind of like when I was undercover as a gigolo. I can analyze recorded sounds, photos, and videos here. For an extra hundred bucks a month, I could have had unlimited streaming movies too. But that's how they get you. I prefer to ankle it down to the local gin mill so I can keep an eye on the sunglasses. Best way to earn an easy buck. urine. Gross. I'm still hoping it was egg yolk. Really should shower later. Image search shows this collar was custom made for employees of a company called Woofin' It Down Dog Foods. No new evidence to find here. Just hang on to this little photo for, uh, detective reasons? 